The Clown Prediction Center is still sticking to its forecast that there is possibility of tropical cyclone development within the next two weeks and this area outlines an area that's very close to the Caribbean islands and which is very concerning especially for the more long-term future once these future tropical waves could potentially come close to the Caribbean islands. So with the Clown Prediction Center now forecasting a pretty large area where a, trop a tropical cyclone is possible, there's only something to be aware of in the Caribbean and unfortunately we now have the GFS model now leaning a little bit more towards tropical cyclone development than ever before um, so we could see a trend where tropical cyclone will become more increasingly likely over the next several days. Here's a current look at the water vapor energy and we're taking uh, and we're um, keeping a close eye on these next few tropical waves coming off the west African coast we do have this one tropical wave now just coming off the coast and this could have a possibility of developing it does seem like the European model wants to develop this tropical wave but it's a different story when we take a look at the GFS model really all depends on the amount of dry air and we do see that just so west of this tropical wave there is quite a bit of dry air um, so we're definitely going to need to pay close attention to how this dry air moves over the next several days to really determine if we're going to see this tropical wave develop however it seems like the current consensus from the computer model is that is that even if this tropical wave does develop it's going to struggle to really intensify much because there should be at least a good amount of dry air to keep it from like um let's say rapidly intensifying into potentially a strong tropical storm or hurricane so if this does develop it'll likely be a weak tropical storm um so um but even then the caribbean still needs to pay close attention to this tropical wave because this could be our next tropical storm that um could that could dump a heavy amount of rain whether it develops or not but taking a look a little bit further eastward we have another tropical wave which could have which it i'll say has a higher possibility of developing into a tropical storm it's expected that um there's going to be plenty of moisture associated with this tropical wave more than what we see with this tropical wave right here so that will certainly increase the chances let me show you guys what the computer models are suggesting right now so this is what the GFS model is currently forecasting when it comes to re the relative humidity in the mid-levels of the atmosphere and we definitely see a big difference compared to the prior runs we've been seeing over the past several days and I mentioned in yesterday's video that the GFS model is beginning to show a trend where it's expecting more moisture than initially anticipated in the um compared to the prior runs which could mean that the gfs model will begin to will begin to have this pattern over the next several runs where it's gonna look more and more like the european model where the european model would be the um would look like the more correct scenario in this case and right now the trend seems to be um seems to be um continue um into today where the gfs model even compared to yesterday is expecting even more moisture and not only that it's expecting a low pressure system that's much more well defined we do see that right around uh, august 17 time frame we do have a well-defined low pressure system and a lot more moisture in the main development region compared to the prior runs over the past several days and we do see that even behind it we have another potential of tropical cyclone development and just more moisture in general compared to the prior runs which makes me believe that the gfs model is sort of playing catch up with what the european model been stating this whole time which is the reason why i'll place a little bit more confidence in what the european model has been suggesting and the european model unfortunately has been suggesting that a tropical storm will form within um the um, um by next weeks which is only something we're gonna pay close attention to see if the forecast changes it's of course still far from certain if that's going to be the case but the european model has been persisting on it which makes me believe that we're, we'll have at least a moderate chance of tropical cyclone development by next week Here's what the European model is forecasting and we do see a lot more moisture in the European model scenario still. However, for this first tropical wave, like I mentioned, while there is a good possibility that we could see um, maybe this 
get close to tropical storm status it's just gonna deal it's likely gonna deal with too much dry air let me move on to the 12z run because it gives more long-term forecast but we do see still plenty of dry air just to west of it so i'll say the chance is rather small at least for this first tropical disturbance in developing but this second tropical disturbance it becomes a different story where we do see right around august 17th this tropical disturbance it, um, there's plenty of moisture on the eastern half of this storm system, but it's a, still a little bit too lopsided. But despite that, the, G, the European model still expects potentially a tropical storm. But the good news is, is that this trough that's expected to move through the eastern half of the United States is going to create just enough of weakness and ridging to where this can move out to sea. We're going to need to still see if this persists. Really all depends on how powerful this trough will be as it continues ahead further eastward towards the northeast but it seems um but it seems like the european model is leaning towards the direction where the ridging would be just weak enough for this to move northward um but we still could see the possibility of the ridge may be might be a little stronger than anticipated so make sure to stay tuned because the trajectory is still far from certain and in terms of the strength i'll say that um these next few tropical waves will likely deal with a lot of dry air so it's gonna it's hard for me to say that we're gonna see um anything more than potentially a weak tropical storm whether this takes a northern track or a southern track because dry air is just gonna be a lot um for these tropical waves to handle just a strong northeasterly flow that's bringing a lot of the dry air from europe further southward into the main development region and that should keep at least tropical waves at bay or, or um when it comes to rapid intensification and um i'll say it's more likely um if it does if we do see a tropical cyclone develop by next week it'll likely be on the weaker end but you never know beyond that point because even just say east of this tropical wave we have another tropical wave moving in by the late august time frame so there's only something to be aware of as we approach the late portion of august while by next week there will be a lot of dry air that could be a different story as we approach the week after where a lot of these tropical waves coming off the west african coast will help moisten the atmosphere and potentially make conditions a little bit more conducive for tropical cycle development towards the late august time frame which i believe would be more likely but for next week i'll say there is certainly a moderate possibility of tropical cycle development but it's going to be um, very difficult for it to strengthen much with the dry air which is certainly good news the trajectory still has yet to be seen um, but make sure to stay tuned as we get more updates so here's a forecast amount of wind shear that's for um from the european model and we do see that um, I've been stating the um, past several days that the tropical waves should be in an area where the wind shear will be just light enough for this to have uh, at least a chance of developing into a tropical cyclone. It's unlikely we're going to see strong shear, shear, wind shear over this storm system. And in fact, we should see an improved amount of outflow with the strong wind shear that's just outside the center of circulation but the center of circulation will likely be protected by an upper level high that's located in the upper levels but we do see the tropical waves will manage to stay in an area where the wind shear um, is going to be light enough um, that would be considered conducive for tropical cyclone development it's mainly the dry air that will be the main issue the, the main inhibitor that would prevent these storms from developing into a tropical cyclone the wind shear would strengthen a lot if this were to move further northward but it won't really matter at that point because it'll be highly unlikely that it will impact land on um, this tropical weight um potential tropical storm would impact land directly which would certainly be good news but if this were to take a track for a southward we do see the wind shear would likely remain relatively light for this to have a good chance of developing so it, the wind shear certainly won't be an inhibiting factor most likely as we approach next week Taking a look at the 500 millibar geo potential height anomaly, this is a good map to take a look at when trying to forecast where exactly these next few tropical waves will go. So you see that for much of um, of this week and into next week, there should be a big ridge 
um, located right over um, the um, um, right over the northern Atlantic, which should um, bring a lot of the moisture straight towards the west. So the Caribbean islands, at least by the middle of next week, even if you don't see a tropical storm, you could see an enhanced amount of rainfall thanks to how strong this ridge is, at least early on. However, like I said, there's expected to be a trough that will move in right around the, um, uh, the middle to late portion of next week that will likely weaken this ridge and that could create an open area where this next potential tropical wave could escape which would certainly be the best case scenario we do see it, it initially begins with um this trough right here just moving um just moving out of the northeast at this time and we do see this trough will linger around for quite some time and then this other trough will contribute to the weakening of this ridge and we could see it weaken enough for the next few tropical waves to move northward which would certainly be the best case scenario but we do see the ridge re-strengthen so the tropical wave just to the east of the main tropical wave we're taking a look at could still move southward and take a track towards the Caribbean. So the key thing we're take, gonna need to focus on is this trough that should move in by the middle of next week. If it's a little weaker, then you should expect a storm track that would move straight more towards the Caribbean um, and potentially a higher possibility of developing since it'll avoid the stronger wind shear and higher amount of dry air for northward. But if we were to see this trough a little bit stronger than usual, then that that would be good news because it'll allow the storm to have this trouble wave to have an open area to leave and not really impact any land so definitely keep that in mind over the next several days if you want to determine the track of this next um tropical wave here are what the gfs on some members are currently forecasting at this time and we do see um, it's definitely different compared to the prior days. Now we're seeing the ensemble members take a track that's a lot more similar to what the European model has been stating when it comes to the um, next week's tropical wave. Not the first tropical wave that's coming off the West African coast right now, but the one that's expected to move in by the middle of next week, right around Wednesday. We do see it takes a very similar track. Wants to take potentially a tropical storm, but takes a track well far to the north. And most of the ensemble members would avoid the Caribbean islands, which is certainly good news. And if a tropical wave were to, or if a tropical um, storm were to move this far north, up northward, it's very unlikely that it could make its journey all the way to the west and it directly impact the United States without being deterred by a uh, westerly tr uh, a, a mid latitude trough that would steer it out to sea. It's um it's very rare for that to occur. The only um rare instance that it occurred recently was during Hurricane Florence back in 2018, but that was a, a huge anomaly, not definitely not the rule. So the more likely this moves northward earlier, the more likely it is to pretty much just be a fish storm, not impact any land. So the best hope is that we'll see this move further northward, but it still has yet to be seen. Um, but um, but make sure to stay tuned for more updates. In the European mall scenario, we see a, a fairly similar forecast, but we definitely do see uh, quite a few um, tropical waves that take a track well further westward, which would definitely be much more concerning. But I'll say that majority of them still do take a track that's very similar to the GFS model, which would steer it further northward, which is a good trend. And hopefully it's a trend that continues um, since that would avoid the Caribbean islands. But that so has yet to be seen. I'm forecasting this beyond the seven day mark. So a lot could change between now and seven days with the forecast, as you know. So um, make so the, yeah, like I said, just stay tuned as we get more updates. The National Hurricane Center isn't currently forecasting tropical uh, a possibility of tropical cyclone development over the next several days. Um, however, I will say that definitely keep an eye on this map because I, I um, because it is um, but um, it could be a possibility that um, as early as tomorrow or maybe in the next few days, the National Hurricane Center will change its forecast where there should it will at least acknowledge a possibility of tropical cyclone development. I wouldn't I definitely wouldn't be surprised if it occurs within um, over the next several days. So make sure to stay tuned to this map as well. 
So for my forecast overall, I do believe that Chago Cyclone development is definitely more likely than before. It's still, keep in mind, it's still highly uncertain, but it's certainly more likely compared to the past several days with the GFS model, leaning a little bit more to the European model as of recently. We're definitely going to need to take a look at the dry air and how the ridging will build um, by next week to really get a good idea of whether this will develop or not or who it'll impact because the ridging will play a big role in that matter. But that's it for now, guys, and I thank you guys for watching.